be glad I do not have an HD camera because this mug you do not need to see in high definition. Alrighty then, YouTube, welcome back for another review. Uh, got a little bit of a short one today. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at another mini mod. Um, I'm into mini mods. I like the little tiny squatty guys. And, um, you know, five foot five, little girl hands. You know, that's what I've got. And so I like something I carry around, something that's pocket friendly. And, um, I mean, I've got things like the uh, Evic Basic, the uh, Elif Pico. Uh, I had the HAD, the Council of Vapor. Uh, mini Volt, um, which has since passed on. And uh, yeah, I, I really like these little tiny mods. I'm really, really still digging uh, the Kangertech uh, To Go Mini. That's one of my favorite mods. Uh, that's just an all day rocker for me. <clears throat> one thing that I didn't like about any of these is that they none of them had a replaceable battery. So if the battery goes poop, you're out of luck. You got a mod that's worthless. So yeah, uh, Yosin teamed up with uh, Alpha Fox and came out with the uh, with a mini mod that uses a single 18500 battery. You don't see that too often, and it ends up being a pretty short and squatty guy, and it meets all of my uh, little needs, checks the uh, boxes, and uh, yeah. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. We're gonna be taking a look today at the mini Bolt Bravo, not Victor, by Yosin and Alpha Fox. Yeah, so stand by, check it out. All right, welcome back. Uh, like I said, today we're taking a look at the uh, Yosin Alpha Fox Mini Bolt. Uh, ignore the tank on top. It uh, does not come with this kit, although you can get this particular uh, mod with a tank. I opted not to do that. Let's go ahead and get that little caveat out of the way. It comes with a tank called the AUG, A-U-G-E, AUG, 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 whatever. I don't know. Uh, and I decided not to not get that kit because um, it's effectively an, a damn near one-to-one -one clone of the uh, Wotofo Serpent Mini, and I already own one of those. Uh, the deck is identical, the dimensions are identical, everything's identical. I mean, e even the little notches on the deck for the uh, juice channels look identical. The only thing that looks different between the two is, of course, the Serpent Mini branding and the drip tip. Whatever. Uh, I already have one, so I just got the kit with only the mod and the battery. Yeah, uh, on top of it, I do have the uh, Merlin Mini 24, and I mean, look at that thing. It's like, it's made for a 24 millimeter tank. Uh, when I dive down uh, to the table, I'm going to give you guys specs and whatnot on this and uh, do an unboxing, etc, etc, etc. We're going to talk about it a little bit right here, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts when we come back up. So what is it? It is a single 18650 replaceable. Uh, battery door is a little tight. I'll get to that in just a minute. Really tight today. There we go. Single 18500, uh, sorry, uh, battery mod comes with the battery. Uh, it's a high drain. They claim 18 amps. I don't know about any of that, but yeah, that's what they claim. Doors are removable, metal, replaceable. Snaps back on there nice and firm. Up front, it looks a little bit like a, uh, <clears throat> a Minikin V2. Uh, the styling from this thing, I, I think they took a lot of cues from the Minikin V2. Of course, that was a touch screen. Um, uh, mod. This is not. It's got the uh, up and down buttons on the side there. Um, so yeah, let's go over what we've got on the front. Got the button. Got the screen. It's It looks really dim here uh, on camera because I've got the brightness turned all the way down. It would wash the camera out otherwise. Uh, up and down buttons with the uh, branding feces. Removable door that I already showed you with the removable uh, 18500. Venting on the bottom. And again, we'll show all this up close a little bit more. If there's juice on top of this, forgive me. Yep, got a drop in there on top of the uh, 510. Yeah, nothing much to this. Um, and the reason I really like this thing is that it does have the replaceable battery. Uh, like I said, I use these things all the time. And if the battery poops out uh, on an internal battery mod, I'm out of luck. I know electronics. I could take apart these devices. I could put in another 18350, 18500, whatever the cell ends up being. But I don't want to fool with any of that because that involves soldering and desoldering. I don't want to mess with that. 
Uh, so how does this thing bake? Like a champ. I mean, grin. Most of that's the uh, tank, but it works fine. I've currently got it in stainless steel 316 uh, temp control mode, 32 and a half watts, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's just rocking. We'll uh, get to some of the uh, temp control features in a, a minute when I come back up from the table. Uh, about the only thing I don't like about it right now, uh, a couple of issues that were easy enough to fix. I don't like this branding feces on there. Just not a big fan of that. Anyway, not a whole lot else I could tell you right now without getting into some deeper thoughts that I'll get into after we come back up to the top. So we're going to dive down to the table. Uh, we're going to take a look at the, the box and the contents and see what's inside of it. And I'll show you some of the features with the menu. And uh, we'll go on from there. All right, so stand by. Alrighty then, we are back and we are here today to take a look at uh, this guy again. Let's get some up close stuff. Uh, we'll start with the box. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this box, why it's got the uh, Flash, Captain America, blah blah blah, whatever else on it. But yeah, that is what it is. Uh, you see here the Mini Bolt, B-O-L-T, 52 watt. Kind of an odd choice, but yeah, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, Yosin and Alpha Fox, their uh, branding. Top of the box has got the same thing. Bottom of the box has got the same thing. Side of the box, got the Mini Bolt uh, 52, oh, sorry, Mini Bolt 52 watt. Uh, 21 plus years, adults only, yep, like that. And uh, on this side, it says open. On the back, get your tech specs and whatnot. You know, I'm gonna have that on the side of the screen here before too long, or I may have already done that already. Uh, warnings, yada, 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 yeah. All kinds of stuff down here. Don't vape in a trash can. Please recycle, etc., etc., etc. And it does say, please read the instruction manual. Always good advice. Anyway, so in the box, it says open on that side. So it just slides open. And this power cable actually came in the battery bay. The battery was separate, came in this little guy. The mod came in there. And this was inside the battery bay of the mod. I don't recommend using this. Uh, USB cable, personally. Um, it's about the cheapest, chintziest little thing I've ever seen in my life. And I wouldn't trust this to be able to support a uh, battery charge or the amount of current that goes through in charging a battery. And there you got a little foamy guy. So let's get that out and get the foamy guy out. Underneath, you got nothing in there except for the user manual. And it's, it's a decent enough manual, you know. Color, pictures, goes fairly in depth, specs, multiple languages, etc., etc., etc. Standard fare. Read it, love it, know it, learn it. Put all this stuff back in there. And yeah, again, yeah, not sure about the Flash slash Captain America thing, but yeah, it is what it is. And we're going to be taking a look at this and not at that. Let me give it a quick wipe down here. Got a little bit of a drippage on the F510 pin. Anyway, here we go, up close. The front of this thing, like I said, looks a whole heck of a lot like the Minikin V2. It is not touchscreen, but you got the big chunky button. No button rattle at all. On the side, you got the up and down buttons and the branding feces. You got the battery door that I showed you. Let's go ahead and get that off. My battery door is really tight because one of the cons I have with this device is out of the box, the battery door rattled. It rattled a whole heck of a lot. And uh, what I did is uh, took the door, clamped my hand around it, and bent it in just a little bit so that it would stay and not rattle at all. That's why it's so everlasting tight on this. And I don't mind that. comes with the single... Ming, what's up, Ming? 18650, got your yada, 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 yada all over it. They claim 18 amp uh, discharge. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, continuous or pulse, but whatever. It works on this and it seems to work perfectly fine. Door slides right back on there. No rattle at all. It did have rattle before I modified that door, so keep that in mind. Uh, on the other side, got your USB charge, uh, charging port. I think it might be firmware upgradable too, and I'll show you why in just a minute. And you got ventilation at the bottom for the board and the battery, plenty of that. And at the top, you got a nice uh, spring loaded um, 510, really, really long throw on this 510. No air ventilation. So if you've got any bottom fed, uh, bottom air fed uh, atomizers, will not work on this. So keep that in mind. And that's about all there is to look at on the outside of it. Um, 
Oh, I took the battery out, so I gotta turn it back on. Five clicks on and off. There we go. You get the Alpha Fox logo. It comes on and it goes into whatever mode you had it in last. From here, three clicks, and you see that 316 is lit. I can go back and forth between different modes. Let's go back to all the way as far back as it goes. It says back, power, back into my temp control, taste, whatever that is. I'm not going to fool around with that. And then you get your TCR and TFR. So yeah, you got different uh, memory settings for TFR and TCR modes. That's interesting. And then you can go back. So let's go back there and pick where I was. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's go back to power mode. In power mode, up and down buttons. Do what you think they would do. Goes fairly quickly, up to 52 watts. And not so fairly quickly, down to five. So yeah, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, where I've been rocking this is about 32 and a half watts. Seems to work for me with the atomizer that I have. Really tough to do this in camera shots, so just kind of bear with me. There we go. Once you're done, do that. In power mode, it of course says power. Gives you all your puff counter information, yada yada yada. I'm not going to get into that. It gives you your power output, uh, battery indication, and for whatever reason, in every single mode, I've got the little happy face down there. I don't know if that indicates that this thing is in good health right now. You know, the battery's in good shape. Whatever. I've never seen it be anything other than that guy. Anyway, three buttons. You can select your modes. Uh, three button clicks, rather. Five takes you into the menu. And here, let's go all the way. You've got your option to power off. If you click that, it powers the device off. You've got to do five more clicks to go back on. And that, that's a no kidding power off. It's not a lock or anything. The, the system is shut down. Go back in there again. Uh, you've got your option to exit the menu. That just brings you right back where you were. Version. Gives you your version info. This is why I think this is a firmware upgrade or device. Otherwise, they wouldn't display that. Yep, wrong way. Brightness, up and down, affects your brightness. Another little quip I have with this thing. From brightness setting 10, I mean, and it's a little washed out on screen, sorry about that. All the way down to 1, there's virtually no difference. So then you go down to 0, boom and it drops down to like nothing. I wish there was a little bit in between. Anyway, select the button to uh, get what you want. Uh, puff clean, that cleans your puff counter. Uh, I do that fairly regularly. Puff set, this allows you to set your puff counter time uh, for however much you want. Zero means it's unlimited or it'll cut off after 10 seconds. Power off, we already saw that, and exit. That's it. That's all you really need to know about this. Within temp control, once you select the mode, if you press the up and fire button, you can, well, any mode rather, you can lock the system. It's still powered on, it just won't do anything. Press it again to unlock it. Down and fire in the uh, temp control modes or down and fire rather, in temp control mode, uh, allows you to do resistance setting. So if you've got a uh, atomizer, you know the resistance is yada yada yada, it's not reading it correctly, you can manually set it. All right, and while I've got it in temp control mode, let me put an atomizer on here. There we go. And it's reading my resistance incorrectly. It read it at 0.37, I know this is a 0.41. So, there we go, boom. Got it locked in at 0.41, that's how you lock your resistance. If you press the up and down button at the same time, you see that stainless steel 316 is blinking. I can rotate to 317. 430, if you have stainless steel 430. TiO1, TiO2, the two different types of titanium. Nickel 200, 
stainless steel 304 if you have that, and back to 316. Of course, in your TFR modes and TCR modes, you can uh, set your own TFR and TCR values for whatever type of metal you're using. If you have the money and you're vaping platinum, there you go. Press those two buttons a second time, and you can adjust your wattage. Press your fire button when you're done. Press them a third time, and you can adjust temperature. And the temperature on this device goes all the way up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Then it round robins to the top end of Celsius, which I think is odd, and you have to go downward, 300 degrees centigrade down to 100 centigrade, and then it round robins to the bottom of the Fahrenheit temperature gauge, 212 to 572. I've uh, been per perfectly happy with this at 400 degrees. It moves in single degree increments. And that's it. Whether you are in any type of a uh, stainless steel 316 or any type of metal mode on uh, temp control, TFR, TCR, that's how you do that. And uh, yeah. She's a vaping. Yeah. Oh yeah. Classic gaming t-shirt. Yay. Pixels. Crappy, crappy, crappy movie. Great t-shirt, though. Anyway, sorry about that segue. Not a lot else to show you down here. I mean, the thing just works. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this short, uh, go back up top, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. So just sit tight. Stand by. All right, we are back up top, and we're talking about the uh, Yosin Alpha Fox. Oh, there they are. Yosin Alpha Fox Mini Bolt. Uh, my thoughts about this device. I like it. I'm into mini mods. A uh, bunch of caveats with this thing, though. If you want to do ever more than 52 watts, this isn't going to do it. Uh, in fact, I would say if you're a 50 watt vapor, this probably isn't going to do it. Your battery life is really going to suffer. If you're like me and you vape somewhere between 30 and 35 watts, pretty solid little device. Uh, build quality on this thing is good enough. It's not the greatest. It's not the best. I do like the... Um, the soft touch finish that's on the battery door. And whatever color you get this in, it's available in a multitude of colors. I know purple, yellow, red, uh, this black, and it might be like a gray or something. I'll put all that in the, uh, um, I'll have all that when I do the specs of the device. But if you get black, the soft touch finish that's on this is all around on the device. I think that looks pretty sexy and it stays in the hand pretty good. The battery door didn't fit all that great. It was really loose and really rattly and I could just barely pull the thing and it would pop off. I fixed that. It's a fixable issue, but I still call it a con because it came out of the box like that. Uh, if it's easy enough for me to fix it with my bare little girl hands, Yosin and Alpha Fox should have fixed that out of the box. The battery, I'm kind of of uh, two minds about that. Never heard of them, but it seems to be working perfectly fine. And we'll see where it goes from there. See what the longevity of this battery is. Uh, that being said, I got this because it is a replaceable battery mod. If this battery poops out, I've got other 18, six, or 18,500 batteries. Uh, on standby, a bunch of Sanyos. And yeah. Um, built quality on the tank. I do not have the tank that came with this, the AUG tank. Again, it was effectively a uh, Serpent Mini, and people said it vapes like a Serpent Mini. However, I watched a couple of reviews that said the, the build quality on it, the threading, and yada, 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 was a little lacking. Own boy Josh did a review where he uh, did a close up on the tank, and he actually saw a little chunk of metal inside of the tank from where they cut some of the threading. That's not good. They need to clean their shit. That, that, that's what it is. I mean, this is something that we are going to be inhaling. So if you do pick up the full kit, take the tank out, take it apart, give it a good rinsing, run it through a sonic cleaner if you've got it, just in case. You know, you never know. Other than that, what do I think? Uh, I like the aesthetics. It looks a lot like a uh, uh, Minikin V2. Get my little paws out of the way. Uh, I like it's got the big button that doesn't rattle. Um, I do like that they put these on the side rather than on the bottom. That's just such a pain in the ass. Um, I like the screen. It's got a lot of information. Not sure about that little happy face guy. I, I, he kind of bothers me, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mean, functionally, this thing's really good. We'll see uh, whether or not this ends up being a firmware upgradable device. I think it will, but we'll see. As it is, it works perfectly fine. You've got a slew of metals that you can use in this for um, temp control, and then you've got TCR and TFR values. Whichever way you want to go, you can do that. Uh, temp control on this is a little aggressive. I've actually had to drop it down to 400 degrees rather than 420 uh, because it was vaping a little hot. And again, I dropped it down to 32 and a half watts from my normal 35 because it was vaping a little hot. So be prepared for a little bit of adjustment there. 
that could also be my coil. Um, since I did my uh, Merlin Mini uh, review, I've had the same coil in here. I've rewicked it several times. It's a notch coil and they do last a good long while, but this thing might be reaching the end of its life. That might be why this is vaping hot, so kind of take that with a grain of salt. Battery life on this thing seems to be pretty good at the, the 32 and a half watts I vape. Uh, and again, I'm in temp control, so that does add a little bit to battery life. Uh, I can get easily several hours out of this, you know, just sitting around and token on the thing. It, it works perfectly fine. Uh, I dig that this is a 24 millimeter mod uh, for a mini mod. Pl bunch of 24 millimeter mods out there, but not a whole lot of small ones. And this is a 24 millimeter tank, and it fits dead flush against the outside and the front. You got a 24 and a half, it's going to overhang a quarter of a millimeter. 25, it's going to overhang half a millimeter. Uh, 22 millimeter uh, devices look perfectly fine on this, so do 23s. Uh, they just underhang very slightly. But because it doesn't have a gigantor 510 connector, you really can't see it. Uh, this thing looks dead sexy with any type of all black tank like this, or because of the buttons, it looks really good with the stainless steel tank. So, yeah. Do a bunch of matchy matchy with this and it works perfectly fine. Not sure what else to tell you about this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to provide a couple of links down below to uh, these setups. I'm going to do the setup with just the mod and with the mod and tank. Uh, provide links below from Yosin's website and from Alpha Fox's website. Uh, me living in the States, I haven't found it anywhere else that I can purchase. So, yeah, that's what you're going to get. Uh, pricing on this is pretty reasonable uh, for just the mod. I paid under 40 bucks with shipping from China, so not bad. Uh, if US vendors start carrying it, I imagine it's going to be about $40. The kit, probably around 50 bucks. So yeah, do some Google Foo, do some searching. You might be able to find it elsewhere. You know, I'm not going to do all of that right now. Uh, I'm not going to bore you to death with uh, any of my stuff with advocacy. And yes, I do have another mascot back there. And yes, that is a mouse wearing a carrot. Yeah. Don't ask. Um, yeah, I'm going to have my uh, advocacy links down below. We have less than a year and a half now. Uh, we've got a year and four months before uh, the deeming regulations take full effect. So do what you got to do. Contact who you've got to contact. I've got resources below if you don't know who you need to contact, where you live. Um, support advocacy. Spend a little bit of money on it. All right, soapbox, gone. Anyway, what do I think about this device? If you're into mini mods, you're into pocket-friendly setups. You could do far, far, far worse than this. Uh, this has replaced my Evic Basic as my powerhouse mini mod. It's just what I'm using all the time now. It works. It works great. I like the fit and finish. The only thing I don't like is that little branding thesis, and if that starts wearing off, great. I'll help it on its way. Uh, other than that, I love the thing. Uh, the tank, if you're going to get it with the tank, be careful. I've heard some horror stories, of, not necessarily horror stories, but some uh, quality control stories about the thing, so just be aware of that. If you already have a Serpent Mini, get just a mod. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to have two Serpent Minis, basically. One cheaper than the other. Uh, nothing else to tell you, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this, cut it short, get this review as short as possible. And with that, I'll say whatever you're vaping on, whether it be this, TFV12, a cig alike, a blue e-cig even. As long as it keeps you off the cigarettes, it's the right product for you, and you need to go ahead and keep doing it because this is a healthier and safer alternative. So, yeah, whatever you're doing, vape on, vape strong, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for swinging by. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, the subscribe button is down there somewhere. And I'll see you with the next video. Shouldn't be too long.